Welcome back to Tenorshare channel. Are you feeling the same as me? Frustrated with most of the updates in the new iOS 26 beta? There are always inexplicable bugs, like overheating, freezing, serious battery loss, etc. So, in this video, I will share with you how to safely revert iOS 26 back to iOS 18. Let's dive in. Necessary steps before reverting iOS 26 back to iOS 18. To downgrade your phone, you need to follow these four steps. Disable the Find My feature. Backup iPhone data. Revert iOS 26 back to iOS 18. And then restore data. So now you need to deal with Find My first. Just go to your account in Settings to Find My. And then turn it off. We need to turn off Find My to prevent getting stuck during the backup and downgrade process. And turn off the activation lock after the downgrade. And then backup your data. Downgrading will result in data loss. If you have iCloud, you can make a full backup on iCloud and then you can restore data directly from iCloud after downgrading. If you don't have that much iCloud space, it is recommended to backup your files using iTunes. It is more comprehensive and you don't need to pay for it, but you will need to modify the backup files on your computer after the downgrade, so make sure to backup completely before downgrading. Revert EOS 26 back to iOS 18 with Rayboot. Now, let's move on to the downgrade part. The easiest way is to use a tool called Rayboot, which is safe and the firmware is officially supported. First, connect your phone to your computer. Then open Rayboot and choose to downgrade. Download the corresponding firmware according to the software prompts. The benefit of using Rayboot is that it can automatically match the certified firmware, eliminating the risk of uncertified packages. It is safer and error-free compared to other methods. Once you are done, make sure to complete the backup before starting the downgrade process. Then you can start the process. In a few minutes, your phone will be back to iOS 18. If you want to learn how to downgrade using an IPSU file, we will show you the steps. But please note that downgrading using an IPSU file is more complicated and the stability is not guaranteed. Let's take a look at how to do it. Revert EOS 26 back to iOS 18 with IPSW file. First, you need to open the ipsu.iav.me website and find the iOS file for the iPhone model you want. Then download the file and wait for the process to complete. After that, go back to iTunes or Finder and hold down the Shift key. Click Restore iPhone and then select the ipsw file you downloaded. Confirm the restore and your iPhone will be downgraded to the version you downloaded. After the downgrade, your phone is restored to factory settings. Restore your iPhone data with iTunes. Let's get into the data recovery process. If you backed up your data using iCloud, then you can just log into your account and restore it. If you backed up your data using iTunes when you were using iOS 26, and now your phone is back to iOS 18, you will need to make some changes. If your phone is not detected in iTunes, reconnect it. Hold down the Win plus R keys to open the Run dialog box and type in these characters. Then go to Apple Mobile Sync and open the backup folder. The backup we created should be the most recent one based on the last modified time. In the folder, scroll down to the bottom and find info. Open it in Notepad. Press Curl and F to open the search bar. And then search for the word Product. In the distance, you will see the product version. If you downgraded from iOS 26, it should say 26. Change it to the version you downgraded to, tap Stroll and S to save the file. Now we can go back to iTunes and start the restore process. We can see that your phone has been restored to iOS 18. Click Restore Backup and select the backup we just modified. iTunes will start the restore process and your iPhone will restart. Wait patiently for the recovery process. Once the restore is complete, your phone will be restored to its previous state, this time with all your apps, photos, and other data restored. You can see in the settings that the iPhone has been restored to iOS 18. That's all. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If this helped, like and subscribe for more insightful tips, or check out our other videos, and see you next time.